In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to use Paint 2010. First, after you open the program, you'll want to drag the screen to the corner to fill up the whole screen. Now I'm going to show you what some of the tools in Paint do. There's the pencil tool, which you can use to draw thin lines with. There is the paintbrush select tool where you can choose different tips like a paintbrush, spray paint, a pencil, a marker. For example, watch if I choose the marker and I choose a color and then I write with it, it looks like that. But if I chose the crayon tip, it makes a different kind of marking. You can also choose shapes to put on your screen. So if I'd like to make a star, I could choose a star, I could choose a color for it and drag it. If I want it to make a circle, I would pick the circle, I would pick a color and draw the circle. So you can choose different shapes and different colors. If you want to fill in a shape with a color, then you choose fill the paint. And then you choose the color that you want to fill the paint in. So if I want purple, I pick purple. I make sure I have picked fill the paint. I fill it in. If I want blue, I can fill that in too. If you ever make a mistake when you're doing paint, like let's say you're like, oh no, I didn't want that, then you choose the blue undo arrow. And that undoes any of the things that you had just done. If you accidentally erase something, pick the redo arrow and it puts it back for you. Okay? Another thing that you can do is if you're using a paintbrush tip, you can change the size of it. So if I wanted it to be really thin, I would click here. But if I wanted it to be wide, I could click here, like that. You can also make text, that means words. To do that, you click right here on the letter A key. And then you press your pointer down and draw a box. Now I can start to type. You can also, um, using the text toolbar, you can change the color of your text by choosing a color. You can choose a different font style. That means you can choose um, a different way that you want your words to look. You can choose a different size by clicking this little arrow and choosing a bigger size. So now when I type, it made the word hello with the color I picked in this other font in the size 36. You can also do things here like make the font bold. You can make it italicized, which means a little bit crooked. Underline it or draw a line through it. If you don't want those things, you just click them again. To get back to the paintbrush tools, if you'd like to draw more, then you click the home button. And then you can come back here and you can draw more items. Remember, if you don't like something, you pick the undo arrow. There's also an eraser here, so if I wanted to choose the eraser, you can make the eraser bigger by clicking here. You can erase stuff that way too. I'm going to put that back. Undo arrow. If you want to flip something over, you choose the select tool. That's this little dotted line. Watch this. I draw a line around my arrow. I pick rotate. I want to flip this over so that it faces a different direction. So I put, pick flip horizontal. Now the arrow is pointing the other direction. See that? Flip horizontal. Okay. If you want to save something, you click the blue box here and you pick save as. If you want to print something in the paint program, you pick the blue button and you pick print. And then you would pick print again. If you're all finished and you want a new blank page, you can click blue button, new, 
and that will give you a new page to paint on. That's the basics of how to use the paint program.